Does safety really matter in phlebotomy? Absolutely. And it's not just about the phlebotomist's well-being, but also about the safety of patients and other healthcare workers. In this video, we will delve into the importance of safety in phlebotomy, specifically focusing on the prevention of needle stick injuries. Ensuring safety in phlebotomy primarily revolves around adhering to established safety guidelines. The use of safety engineered equipment is paramount. This reduces the risk of injuries from needles and other sharps. But what happens when safety engineered equipment is not available? In such cases, the phlebotomist should seek other equipment that can guarantee safety. The selection and evaluation of devices with safety features is another crucial step. Safety devices offer an additional layer of protection and using them correctly can significantly reduce the risk of needle stick injuries. Remember, recapping needles is a no-go area. It may seem like a convenient way to handle used needles, but it poses a significant risk of injury. Instead, safely handle and dispose of needles in a puncture-resistant sharps container immediately after use. The role of the phlebotomist in maintaining safety goes beyond their own actions. Reporting all needle stick and sharps-related injuries is crucial to ensuring appropriate follow-up care. Equally important is notifying the employer of needle stick hazards and reporting needle sticks and near misses. Infection prevention training can equip phlebotomists with the necessary knowledge and skills to prevent needle stick injuries. Also, phlebotomists should receive the hepatitis B vaccination as a preventive measure against potential exposure to the virus. What happens when a phlebotomist experiences exposure to blood or a needle stick injury? The first step is to wash the area with soap and water. If there are splashes to the nose, mouth, or skin, flush these areas with water. Eyes should be rinsed with clean water, saline, or sterile irrigants. Once immediate care has been taken, the phlebotomist should complete an incident report and immediately seek medical treatment. The healthcare facility should then provide post-exposure prophylaxis and offer support for HIV hepatitis B and hepatitis C exposure. The incident report should contain the phlebotomist's name, time of the incident, where and how it occurred, and names of any witnesses. It should also provide a description of events and consequences, documentation, and an explanation of immediate response and corrective actions. Remember, safety in phlebotomy is not an option, it's a mandate. By adhering to safety guidelines and prevention methods, needle stick injuries and their associated risks can be significantly reduced. So stay safe and keep those around you safe.